we will start with the second lecture of file handling in C and we were reading about F printf and F canf so these two are very much similar to their counterparts like printf and scanf but the only difference is that when we do printf it goes to the console output and when we do scanf we take input from the user but what happens here is that when we do f printf so it goes the output goes into a file and it is written on file some file like abc.txt so it's written inside the file so what's the difference and then if f scanf so it reads something from the file so now the question is how is it different from f put c and f get c so we learned that f put c just writes one character at the end or where the cursor is so we should understand the concept of cursor which is very simple like if i have hello baby how are so now the cursor usually is at the end so when i write how are you so now cursor comes here o cursor comes here and u so cursor comes here so this is the cursor basically it means where i'm traversing now so it puts one character in the file and writes it there f get c what this does is that it will wherever the cursor is it will read that thing and it will give us so c is equal to f get c will guess it read the character for us and then move forward so now how is f printf and f scan f different from this one so f printf so the syntax is f print f and then the first argument is the file pointer so which file i want to write to and then it says that okay so what is the syntax like so the control string the control string and then the list so let's take an example so i want to fill a database so which we were considering so let's say i am making a database of name roll number and marks so name is a percentage s roll number is percentage d and marks is let's say percentage f i can have some fractional marks so now what it becomes is that in each line of the file i have one name so it the file will be something like john roll number is 100 and marks is 82 sam roll number 52 marks is 96 jack he has roll number 2 and marks 75 so each line of the abc dot text has these marks records and when i write a next one let's say i want to write sheila her roll number is 3 and marks 92 so i will say f print f then the file fp and then this is the first is name is percentage s then the roll number is percentage d 
and marks is percentage F and then I will write so name role and marks so this way I will be writing in the file and of course name is something like care name 20 it will be int role and float marks so this way i will be writing into the file and so this line will be written so let's come to the next thing so now what is so we had a database where we were reading so where we were reading john 100 marks 100 raw number 82 marks etc so now let's say f can f so again if i'm reading from the file so what i will do again i will say okay which file so i will pass the file pointer then i will have the control string so percentage s for the name percentage d for the roll number percentage f for the marks and then i will have the values where i want to store them so i will have name here and roll number so it will be ampersand roll number and ampersand marks so this will be the command and of course we will define a few things before writing this line which is file star fp is equal to of course like f open test dot txt wherever that file was then we will write okay let's say care name 20 then int roll and float marks so this is line 1 then 2 3 and then this is the fourth line after which after reading the first line which is john 182 so we will have here it will become john this is 100 and this is 82.00 so this is what is there so this is about f scanf and f printf so there is one more good quality is that of course we will not always want that okay whenever there is a text we don't always want that okay i will always be starting from the first one or I will always be appending at the end so we want some kind of control on this so for that we have something like we have that is called random access to file so we will have random access to files and for that we use f c f l and rewind so we will see what are the f c f l and rewind so when we do so first let's understand f c so when we do f c so we pass the file pointer okay which file we want to see then the offset and the position so this let's see understand this one clearly so this is the file pointer this position is so seek cur
values for the position which means that this is the current position wherever the cursor is right now so if i have a file hello world and let's say i was moving and i was let's say i did f get c i called this three times so initially i was here at starting then i moved to e and then to l so now i will be at this fourth position so this is the cursor position so now if i want that okay so this is my c cursor position this beginning is c set and this end is c end so these are the three positions and now what is offset so offset here it means that we will be kind of telling that okay how much position we want to move from these places so if i say that okay if the position i define as seek underscore curve and this is minus 1 l which is minus 1 offset from this one so if this is at place here so i will move towards minus 1 here if this was plus 3 l so i would have if cursor was here i would have moved 1 2 and 3 so i would have moved to world w so and if i say that okay seek set so i would have gone there and then seek set and plus 4 l so from the beginning 1 2 3 and 4 so i would come at l so this is about the random access to files and so what happens now is that there is something called rewind fp which will take the cursor to the beginning and then f tell fp which will tell me the current position of the cursor so that okay how to find the current position so we will use this method to find the current position if i want to rewind i will use this one so this is about the random access and this 